Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to the Evil Within. In the last part, we took on that big doggy thing there. It's a dog, it's a big open wide, wide mouth monster thing. I don't really know what it is, it's got barbed wire all wrapped around it. But whatever it is, we, we didn't kill it, but we, we fought it off and got away. And now we're walking into the church where we last seen Kidman and Leslie go into. So we're going to try and find these guys now in the next part. In this part, so let's go. Alright, so we're inside the church. Looks quite quiet for now. Um, how are we doing for ammo? We've got some shotgun, some rifle. Quite a few, um, yeah, quite a few rifle rounds right here. Our health's not looking too good. I don't think we've got any health kits left either. Actually, we've got big health kits, haven't we? We've got two of them. But they heal you to full, so I'm going to save them until we lose quite a lot of health. Right, while well, Joseph goes over there and has a little search, I'll go on this side have a little search. We've got what looks like, yeah, matches, nice, 15 matches now. I remember we had none, and we were really struggling to find any. That sounded close. Okay, so, looks like again, uh, Kidman and Leslie are hiding underneath the altar. Looks like there's a trap door or something. Right, there's a gate there, a grate you can kind of see. Uh, what's this? It's another map fragment. Don't really know what these are for. I think they're just collectibles. They, they open up the whole map back at the asylum on the wall. Kind of shows you the whole city that you're playing in. So here we go. Can, they, can we see these guys down here? Is there a way for us to get down there? Hey, Joseph. You still with me? Come on, Joe. Sebastian, you ever had the urge to just jump when you're on a high place <coughs> or the subway rolls by? Nope, can't say I have. Imagine if you had that urge for a minute straight, then two minutes. You fought it off three times now, Joseph. You're learning to stop it. You're not listening. I'm not worried about stopping it, Seb. I'm worried about not wanting to stop it. Some part of me wants to turn. I don't know why, and I can't reason it away. It's deeper than that. It's like instinct. And it's getting stronger. Hold on. This might. Is Ruvik the puppet master? He's just playing with us right here. Look at this guy. He can do what he wants when he wants. Like. Here we go. We've been taken to a new place again by Ruvik. Whenever we kind of get on a good track of like figuring out what's going on, he just comes in and just goes, nope, you're gonna go 10 miles down the road or whatever. It feels like we'll actually be at below the church though at this time. I mean, this is how we lost touch with um, the doctor, Dr. Jimenez. And we haven't seen him since that Ruvik took us away from us, from him. Alright, let's turn the flashlight on. What have we got? We've got some green goo on the floor right over here. Alrighty. What have we got in this corner? Anything? Nothing. Okay. So if we are below the church, hopefully we can bump into Leslie. You, you, you. Sounds like Leslie's better near. Better start searching for my partners. Better start searching my partners. <laughs> Is he talking to himself when he says that? Is he talking out loud to himself saying that? Alright, so it sounds like these guys are right around the corner. 
possibly hiding under the table or something, or... I'm just going to smash these pots, though, because I really want to have as much ammo as possible. Because seeing as we're fighting zombies and we're actually in an undead area, well, a dead area, where there's a tomb, we're expecting to have some zombies pop out anytime soon. Right, we got some parts we can pick up there. We got seven so far. We can pick up some. We can craft something decent later. Right, it sounded like they were standing like, like around here in my headphones. Anyway, we got a bottle in our hands, so it feels like we're gonna have to stealth somewhere in a sec. It's giving us that that option to um, you know, use this as a distraction. So the only way to go really, use that. I don't know. The only way to go is up these stairs. And hopefully, I mean, if that guy was Leslie was talking quite quiet, then you could hear him. So we should be within the next two rooms, you know. Okay, dokie. Turn the flashlight off. And what have we got here? We've got a guy with a axe. That's cool. So let's hide behind this wall. Let this guy come a bit closer, and we'll try and stealth kill the guy if he turns around. Okay, he's turned around. So we've got a window to move here. I don't think we're going to actually catch the guy, so we're going to look in this room. Okay. Yep, that's good. Holy shit, that's really nice. Okay, what's what are we going to use here? Let's let's have a plan. Let's go for the let's go for the grenade around the corner. Okay, I hit the guy. I actually killed hit someone, so that's good. Let's do Oh god. I was going to say this is a match, but um, he got up pretty quickly. So it's in a flashlight back on me as well. He's got an axe in his head. He's also got a shotgun shell on his head. Oh, he's getting back up again. This guy does not want to stay down. Right, just bang the fucker. Can't get a proper headshot on him to finish him. Maybe I should work on my critical hit chance on um, shotguns. Because I'm using them quite a bit to get headshots. And if you can get a higher chance to blow the heads off, it'd be good. I think we killed one of the guys with the grenade. We blew him to pieces. And I've, I want to try a little tactic here as well. I think you can throw a bottle at an enemy. And it will stun them. Then causing you to use a knife. That didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> that did not work. So this guy's gonna follow us now. Let's shoot him in the head, hopefully. There you go. Got him once in the head. In the chest. Come on, mate. Die. You took two shots to the head. How's your head still intact? Whoa, this guy's gone crazy. There we go. There he goes, his head. So we don't need to use a match on this guy, because he's got no brain. Alright, let's see him. Did we pick up? No, we've got the um, the big health kit to use, haven't we? We'll save that until we like get really low. Oh, I sent flashlight back on. We got some ammo over here, some rifle rounds. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We should start using that actually because we're full. We don't want to be full on a weapon and not use it, you know? Because then you're just wasting ammo. The chance to pick up ammo. So I think we killed. Uh, there was three of them in this area, and we think we killed them all. Fat guy and the two skinny guys with the axes. So what is this on this wall? Can we use this? This is something you can look at. You can just tap on. Tapity tap 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 tap. Looks loose. Yeah, why not? It's, it's loose, so I've got to take it. This lithograph was pried from a stone door where it seems to have been used as a key. Why would we take that? Oh god, oh god. Okay, it's opening. Before we go in there, I want to take up this shit over here. Looks like it could be decent. Oh god, something could be behind us. Whoa. Whoa. Huh? Hello? What is this? Who are those people in the picture? Alright, let's um, smash these pots. We're actually picking up some good stuff here. Alright. So this door we just opened up, let's go check it out. Alright, so we've got a lantern switched on here. It's a bit strange. Um, we've got some goo we can pick up. There's a journal book here. Catacomb, note help, the metallic pounding. He's coming. I run, but he follows. Help, God, help, help. Help, 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 help. So someone wants help. Now this help, this, see this thing here? This safe. There are enemies in this game who wear that as a hat and they let the big guys. Oh, I can actually open this. Ooh. See, look at that. There's like guts inside of it. Whatever that is, that's like someone's squashed head. So, uh. <laughs> 
It's looking a bit weird. So we got a key out there, so next time we go back to the safe place, um, the asylum, I'm about to call it. We should be able to use that. Is the mirror there? Can we use that to go there? No, we can't. Yeah, because we can use the key and the save locks when we get there. Alright, so it's a bit dark down here. Doesn't look too safe. Right, we've got quite a few bolts actually as well, so we're going to start using these. And we also need to make sure we start using the, the rifle. Okay, it is the guy. That was the guy I was saying about, like, not long ago. <laughs> Alright, so look at that. There's um, bits missing. So we need to get all the pieces of the heads. Like the one we, first one we just picked up. Alright, let's step outside this gate. Can we actually break this open? Oh, look at that. Just one little punch to it and it breaks the steel chain. <laughs> nice. So, we've got a door either side. Okay, that looks like a door we can actually open, the wooden one. It's kind of broken as well. So let me just approach this first. I think you need to put a stone slab in each head. So like this. It fits. It fits. Oh shit. Okay, that side's open now. And now that side's open. So there's going to be a stone slab in each side, I imagine. And where's Joseph? <laughs> We got picked up by Rubik and Joseph got left upstairs. So, let's actually open this face and see if we've got anything cool inside. Probably got a mirror. Okay, Lily's birth announcement when we will we will welcome with love Lily Lynn Castellanos. Born 18th June, July 2006. So, my wife, Myra I don't think we've actually seen her. I think maybe... Did she die? Let's jump in this. Catacombs found beneath parish. Sweet. So these are like all like... Yeah, pastor says nothing to lose. Sleepover. Who took her this place? Workmen repairing collapse floor. Discover man-made passages beneath Cedar Hill Church. Claim they saw mummies. <laughs> Parish denies access to historians claiming sacrilege. I see. So there is like some kind of story going on here, but like reminding me about my wife. What's this? This is new. Missing. Missing Chris Taylor. Who the hell is Chris Taylor? Construction foreman disappeared while overseeing repairs of a fallen church floor. Repairs were nearly completed, so it's unlikely he fell. So there is like. This has taken me back, I feel, into the past or kind of like stories that happened around this guy, Sebastian. And I'm supposed to be able to figure this shit out, I guess. Alright, so let's jump back into the mirror. I just upgraded the shotgun critical hit chance, so if you shoot a headshot, it's more likely that their head will explode, causing them to be dead. So we opened these two um, tomb doors, it looks like. Let's take one. Let's go down this one first. Maybe like a puzzle ahead or something, or maybe just some horde of enemies. Who knows? Whatever it is, it probably ain't gonna be nice. Alright. So, what have we got here? We've got some kind of spiky wall right there. Uh, spikes from above. There's a lever below the spikes. Okay. And let's. Pick up all this green shit. Right. So those spikes don't actually look like they're connected. They're just resting against the wall. But I could be wrong. And there's some weird masks on the wall over there. Um, what have we got in this room? Looks like there's some ammo. We're full on pistol ammo. Oh fuck. Why is that... Shit. Maybe I should have tried the lever. Shit. Uh, is there something behind this wooden wall as well? Look, yeah, look at that. There's like a rolling thing. Look, there's like um, a track lying on the floor. So if I fuck up here, or if I move, maybe this is gonna chase me. Oh, there's a trap there. Jeez. Let's end this on that. <laughs> Not running into that shit. There we go. So it's safe to move forward now. But move forward to where? Can we drop down here? Okay. Now, where the hell 
Are we looking to go? Okay, because that's on fire. That does not look like an option. And the spikes above us. Shit. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing a lot of options here. What I can see are these cogs. They kind of like stand out like it's red. So maybe if we have to shoot one of these. Let's just shoot one. Here we go. That does something. What it does, I don't know. So when I shoot this next one, that thing's going to roll out, I feel. And I'm going to move to the side and hope it doesn't hit me. So, shoot that. Now, is this thing coming up? Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. That ain't good. Okay, guys. So I got it wrong last time. And this time, I thought the thing behind me was going to roll down. So I got in the pit. And this, t but actually, the roof comes down and kills you. So I'm going to stand outside of the room and shoot these things once again. Now, this thing will fall down from above. Do we run onto it? I guess we have to stand on this, right? Is this a good option? Is this a good thing to do? Do we jump in there? Am I doing this wrong? I think I might kill myself. <laughs> oh no, I think we're meant to take this up for a ride. Oh god, there's a guy there. What the hell's that? Whatever he is, I don't like it. So I'm going to shoot it in the face without warning. Now, I was going to see if I could stealth that, but I can't. He's chasing me like a traditional zombie. Okay, you need to die now, please. Alright, his head is gone there. That's good. So we need to find a piece of um, this, the wall to take out. Alright, let me just see what we've got around here. Alright, so we've got a guy hanging from something over there. Gotta be a trap. Yeah. Looks like it's connected to that. So, let's smash up these pots. <laughs> Alright, we've got a route to take over this side now. It looks like we've got a wire as we come out this little path. So, I think we should disarm this shit, if possible. There we go. Now, I don't know what that trap was. It didn't have, it didn't have dynamite on it, so maybe it did something else. Like fired spikes at my face or something. Alright, we've got a bottle to use to distract, so I don't know. Okay. This guy above us seems to be alive. So, uh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, shit. Okay, let's bend the guy, let's bend the guy. Okay, we can't bend the guy. Let's just shoot him instead then. That's a terrible shot. Let's bend him. Got plenty of matches to use, so we may as well make the most out of them. It's better to use a match sometimes than it is to waste an extra shot on your shotgun, I think. So, him going up did something to the lever, right? So, if I pull this now, that should go down, right? Why do I want that to go down? Do I want it to go down? Is there a reason for that to happen? I think that's just the trap, isn't it? I think I was meant to jump down in front of it for the, for the trap to work, and he would fall. Making that crush me. So it's a good job I went around this side. So. Looks like that door on the left can't be opened by hand. So we're going to go this way first. Okay. There we go. Let's try the sniper rifle. Okay, that's a long bolt action. So I think he lost his head right there. He's got two heads actually. Okay, let's get this in, give, give, give this a go. Let's uh, maybe use, let's use the ice one, let's see what that's like. Okay, so I think he's stunned, right? He should smash. Yeah, he smashes if you shoot him, that's really cool. Come on, mate, drop. So I think they're all down now. They should all have no heads. Um, yeah, they're not getting up, that's good. Pretty cool. So let's use this once again. <laughs> so that door over there just looks like it was used to um, be a trap to let those enemies in. You can't actually go in there. Let's take our bottle with us. Could be useful. And what was that noise? Did the thing close behind us? It closed. Be oh, spikes came out behind us. Shit. Good job we made a move in there. <laughs> Now, we've got some guys down there. Okay, stop doing that. I think I might get my sniper rifle and I might shoot these guys in the head just to make sure they don't get up. Right, look, he's lost his head. 
So he's not getting up. This guy's getting up. Looks like that actually does take the head off no matter what. You haven't even got to upgrade it. It's just so powerful it takes the head off. Right, did he drop any ammo? Or goo? No. Oh, he's got something on him. He's got pistol bullets. Nice. Alright, so let's jump up here. Uh, let's actually not jump up there just yet. Let's snipe the guy in the head. Just because we can. Let's get his head in the, in the sights. Right, did his head come off with that shot? I'm not 100% sure on that one. Let's check his body. He's lost half his head at least. He is twitching. He's not getting up, is he? He's not moving. So, I don't know what this lever does, actually. Let's leave the lever, because I think we need to take this thing out of the wall. So that could be a trap and end up killing us, I think, if we pull the lever. Because normally when you take these things off, the door opens. Yeah, that's opened. Anything behind it? Doesn't look like there is. Okay, so let me just see what's above us with the lever. Yeah, I'm not even going to pull the lever, because I don't need to. And it could do damage to me. Alright guys, so we've got two um, slabs out of three. Let's put this, this second one in right now. Just one more. Just one more, okay. So we're going to actually end this here guys, and we're going to get the last slab in the next part. So thanks for watching guys, and see you guys next time. Bye.